And what's up everybody, and this is Danny taking a look at the Glass T Slim made by Spigen SGP for your Samsung Galaxy S4. And this is a tempered screen protector that is made of glass, and it promises to have oleophobic coating, 8 to 9 H surface hardness, and it's very slim and very light, and you're not going to lose any touch sensitivity at all with this glass screen protector. And this thing retails for $27.99 on their eBay store, their website, and Amazon.com. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what comes inside of the package. All right, and the first thing you're going to get is an alcohol swab to clean the screen off with and the microfiber cloth. You're going to get a squeegee to get all those air bubbles out. You're going to get some jelly home buttons there. And you're going to get some warranty information and serial numbers. Also, you get a back protector that's also included. So that's nice. So it's going to give you front and back protection when you buy this Glass T Slim. And let's talk about the star of the show here, which is the glass screen protector. And you can take it right out of its sleeve. And you're going to be able to see exactly how thin that sheet of glass is. And it also comes with an install guide, but I'm going to be your install guide today. So let's go ahead and install this thing. These protectors are actually very easy to put on. So just follow the step-by-step -step directions and you should have no problem. So go ahead and take the alcohol swab and clean all around the screen. And this is going to remove all the contaminants, dust, grease, everything that's on there. And also go ahead and put some alcohol on the tips of your fingers where you're going to be handling the glass so you don't get oil on the bottom of the glass when you're installing it. So let's go ahead and just take the microfiber cloth and just clean really, really well around it. And just make sure all the contaminants are off. And you just take the back protection off of the actual glass itself. And just make sure there's no dust underneath there. And you're going to just line it up. And the best way to do it with this one is just line up the top there. Where the speaker piece is. And then just make sure you line up the home button. And once that is lined up very well. And you can just scoot it down a little bit and just kind of adjust accordingly. And once it is on there, all you have to do is just drop the screen protector and it's going to just start the seal effect. And you can see there, it's just going to slowly move down. Don't touch it. Just let it do its work. And you can see it's taking a little time there, but then it kind of speeds up and there it is. And that's pretty much the install of this glass screen protector. Super easy. Now there might be a few little micro bubbles here and there that you can kind of just work out with your hand or use the provided squeegee to just kind of work those little air bubbles out. But if it's installed well, it really should not have many. You're just going to have a few underneath there. Uh, you might get a little bit of dust underneath there, but if you do, you can always going to take it off and just reapply it again. But just go ahead and take the top off right there, the top protector of the screen, and just take it right off of there, and there it is. No problems whatsoever. And you can see the clarity of screen and the touch is just perfect. And you can see that on the bottom that the home button is recessed just slightly, and that's where those jelly buttons come in. And you can barely tell it's on there, except for when you look at the speaker piece up top, and you can tell where the camera is and your other sensors that they're not covered and that's the only time you can really see it. I'm sure many of you are wondering if it affects anything like air gesture and you can see here that the swipe motions are just perfect so no problems there whatsoever. You can use that on the web browser or you can do it to look at pictures so you can the air gesture part no problem whatsoever with the glass T slim. So what about air view? on the Galaxy S4 with this glass screen protector on top. And you can see that it throws it off just slightly. And it's kind of weird on the lock screen that it does that. And you can see it kind of jumps around a little bit. But it does not affect your touch whatsoever. Because look at here on Flipboard and it works just fine. I don't see a problem with it. But on certain instances you can see it can throw it off just a little bit with sensitivity. I'm not having any problems so far, but if you are, then please leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know how it is treating you. 
you can see that the actual screen protector does not go all the way to the sides or to the bezel. It leaves a little bit of area there, which is good for TPU cases that will go over the front of the screen to give you a little bit of front protection. But you can see it's extremely slim. You can barely tell it's on there. It will add a little bit of heft, a little bit of weight to your Galaxy S4, but the Galaxy S4 is super light anyway, and it is just such a big piece of glass that it's going to add some weight, but definitely it feels good in the hand. It does not add too much weight, but you're definitely going to know it's there. But look at the touch sensitivity on here, the color clarity, everything. It is just perfect. The back protector is a little bit harder to put on. You have to really work it out with the squeegee, so I just made sure I fast forwarded this. But once you work it through, it's not bad. It will give you pretty good scratch protection on the back, which is nice that they included this. There are little micro bubbles and stuff that I couldn't get out, but it's mostly like putting a screen protector on. But it's definitely glossy, but it gives it a pretty good grip there. I like it because I'm going to probably use the Galaxy S4 naked most of the time. But it does not go all the way to the corners. It does leave a little bit exposed. And there are those jelly buttons to give you the pronounced home button feel since it does indent it some. But it wouldn't be a glass screen protector if you didn't have all the scratch protection. And you can tell here that I'm taking a screwdriver to this and scratching the mess out of it. No problem whatsoever. You can see not a single scratch on there. And that's the great thing about these glass screen protectors is they're very, very scratch proof. And they will also take the impact of a shattered screen, most likely if you were to drop it on a rock. So it will definitely protect your screen. So what do you guys think about this Glass T Slim? I think it's going to be great. The only thing I think might be better is the Glass T R, which has rounded edges. And I will be doing a review of that soon too. So please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos and follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.